Hi everyone, welcome to Growing Knowledge. Uh, we're back again after the winter break. My name is Paul. I'm Peter. Ross. <laughs> and we're going to take you through um, some plant idents again today. Uh, what we've got for you are uh, trees. 10 trees and um, Pete's going to take you through them. Um, I think this specifically is useful uh, for the college RHS level two um, who were actually looking at these earlier today. So um, make sure you revise guys and uh, we'll see how well you got on. Over to Pete. So this is our first one alphabetically. This is Asa Davidii. Can you see that gorgeous snakeskin bark there? So that's Asa Davidii. Um, so Asas are famed for their architectural shape. Their bark's usually quite nice. You get Asia grisium with an unusual decorative bark. But this one really is a, a sort of a league apart. And you've got those red buds there, which give way to quite a rounded leaf, not the normal dissected leaf yeah. you'd expect from an Asa. Um, so it's a really special tree. And obviously being a species, we might propagate it with... Uh, is that a, Seed. Do you say seed? seed? Yeah. yeah, seed. Yeah. So it opens it up to seed propagation because it's um, not, it's, a, not it's a, a species. Yeah. It's not a cultivar. Yeah, you can get cultivars that are yeah. more refined forms, but even just the standard Davidii is is really special. There you go. That's your first one. So Acer Davidii. Then another. And that looks like an Acer. Oh, another Acer. Yeah. <laughs> Different um, effect here. This is. Yeah. Ace of and the woman I had, so what you any guesses? Grissian, is it? Not Grissian. No. Oh. would have a peeling bark. I'll oh, be honest oh, with you, I don't know. I'm looking at it. Um, thing off, to be honest. It's Rubrum. It is. Rubrum. So Ruby, red. Ruby, yeah. Ruby red, <laughs> with these red flowers. We're just at the end of the season um, for getting the flowers on these. It's been a good season with an early spring. I think it's really helped these to flower well. Um, and obviously this will give way to your traditional maple leaf. This yeah. is a traditional sort of field maple type acer, but not your true field maple. This is a, a red leaf in, in autumn. So you get yeah. red flowers this time of year and a red leaf in autumn. Lovely. So with that one, uh, mm. the first two you've shown us, that first example you've got there, Pete, is, is quite a large... Uh, piece of wood <laughs> <laughs> it was now. crossing it was running through so these have a lovely uh, goblet uh, shape and this yeah. one was coming at an angle right through the middle so it wanted to oh, be so pruned down doing i mean i've got i've got some rather small aces at home i've got uh, one called phoenix oh, yes. um which uh, you can imagine is, is red and rises from the flames, oh, yeah. uh, turns green and then red. So, uh, but these look a lot larger scale than what I've got at home in my these front are garden. Wood, almost woodland trees, right, or, or okay. big statement trees. They're, yeah. they're well over eight metres, the two oh, we've got. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, right. okay. And another big tree, statement tree, is Ulnus cordata. You yeah. see that? So these are actually last year's leaves. So here we are in March, still with last year's foliage. Oh, so wow. so far on then. It's a, an unusual thing with alders, so all ulnus will yeah. hold on to the leaves well. They tend to use them as orchard windbreaks yeah. for that reason. Um, and cordata is heart shaped. Heart shaped, hey. exactly oh. that. Can you see that heart shape there? Yeah. Um, dark bark, uh, very clear lender cells on it as well. Mm. Um, quite a special tree, very good for uh, damp or permanently waterlogged yeah. soil. Uh, sort of a, a wetter ground tree. Good job. Oh, oh, I recognise that. Yeah, okay. so we've got Marchescent foliage again. Carpinus betulus. That's the one, Carpinus betulus. Um, we know it's Carpinus, not its similar cousin Fagus, because the buds are really short and pointed. Can you see that? Yeah. If it was Fagus, they'd be longer oh, and even sharper, actually. They, they, they do look fairly look. similar from the foliage. Yeah, first, and sometimes yeah. you get more... Um, Serrated. Serrated, that's the word. Yeah. I think called serrated margins on the leaves. Yeah. yeah. I think we picked up on that in one of our previous uh, videos out in the garden. Yeah. 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 So look us up for that on Growing Knowledge. Yeah. <laughs> Little <absolutely>. plug. <laughs> I've got a leaf here from Cordyline Australis, so the cabbage palm. Mm. So this is really strong, really thick, really waxy leaves. 
And as, as more form, they make rosettes, and eventually you'll get a clear stem beneath it, and it'll become a tree as opposed to more herbaceous plant. Very fibrous well, sort of leaves on it. I was saying fibrous. exactly the same thing to Peter earlier when I walked in and saw this. I was saying it looks a bit like a flax, mm. and you could almost strip this off and use it as string if you were caught out in the Australian outback <laughs> and needed to make a shelter. Look, there's yeah. me going off on one again there. <laughs> no intention of going to Australia, mate. <laughs> Uh, Have you got another Australian plant, talking uh, of Australia, gunny something eye. else? This is usually taken down by the, the wildfires of Australia, so it never normally gets particularly tall in its native land, but over here it's a rapid growing tree. One for the, uh, one for the Vix, this one. <laughs> I always think of eucalyptus, uh, the eucalyptus gunny eye, isn't it? Ah, yeah, gunny eye, so um, 2 p piece shaped leaves. The older and the less juvenile the foliage, the, the more elongated it is, yeah. like a willow or a salix. Um, so an evergreen tree, this one. They get fairly tall, don't they? Absolutely huge. Mm. Yeah. Really fast growing. And they're very tough wood as well. Yeah. If you've ever tried cutting a eucalyptus, the wood is incredibly dense and difficult to saw. Oh. Right. Better than mind. So get the youngster to do that. That's, yeah. that's the apprentice's <laughs> job. <laughs> then we've got Ilex. You're probably familiar with the Ilex aquifolia. A bit aquilifer uh, used to carry the eagle for the Roman army, so that's the eagle-like beak. Yeah. Aquil. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. So aquila is Latin for eagle, yeah. and it's to do with the sharpness of the leaves there. So aquifolium, nothing to do with water, no. as people often mistake. In fact, these quite often will take a sandy, a drier soil. Mm. Um, well, it looks green. like it can retain water quite well, that waxy leaf, doesn't it? And this one's not got any berries on it, so... No, that's um, just a standard Ilex aquifolium, but obviously not a female. They're, they're generally um, monoecious, so you get male and female. Male and female, yeah. 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 Sorry, dioecious. Dioecious. Yeah. I knew what you meant. <laughs> you knew what I meant. Dioecious. <laughs> I know what It's been a long is. day. Just Watch from the trees. that. <laughs> so, uh, this, this, is, this is the giveaway, the, the bark, isn't it? Yeah. This yeah. is the cerula. Prunus, yeah, Prunus yeah. cerula. Gorgeous Tibetan cherry tree. Um, so you've got Prunus, typical Prunus buds here. Um, clearly defined lenticels as well. That's another trait of Prunus. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Can I just bring that? Oh, yeah, I can't hear because that yeah. is, if we can get, you can see like, the ringing of the, the bark there. Yeah. Where so it's just beautiful bark that is. Stunning plant. Quite small as well, so if you've got a... Yeah, I don't get too big. big. Mm -hmm. About jab you three, out with that three, four metres. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> quite often actually, yeah, yeah, about three or four metres. You can get multi-stem ones yeah. as well, um, for a smaller space. You kind of want that big stem with all the real interesting bark yeah. peeling on it, really. Yeah. Yeah. You want something big and obvious, I think, yeah. on, on, on um, a better effect, more dramatic. And this one, I'm not, I'm not going to look at the weeds there at all, Pete. Uh, <laughs> yeah, do a few weed idents <laughs> afterwards, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, I left part of it because in the middle there is a pulmonaria yeah. uh, that self seeded. I bet that's a Victorian brooch as well because I've seen some brooch, of them knocking yeah. around. This is Quercus rover, so English oak, oak. exactly that. Um, a bit of growing to do. A bit of growing to do. It's a young plant. We've got marchesan foliage retained from over the winter, mm. so it's an indication that it's a young plant, even if it wasn't in a small pot on a, on a shelf in a potting <laughs> yeah. shed. Oh, yeah, awesome. <laughs> I like that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And your last one with the white and this flowers. Looks absolutely this looking beautiful. Great, this. this is Salix. Alba. And I just want to come round there and look at those. Um, oh, and the buds as well. Those buds there. Yeah. They're just little fluffy things, They're like velvet, they are. Gorgeous tree. And a random <laughs> fact salicylic acid, um, right. which is um, a, a medicinal treatment. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Aspirin, in fact, yes. yeah, yeah. comes from willow. Yeah. And obviously, yeah. salix, salicylic acid. That's yeah. where the name comes from. It's useful for making a few fences, if you know. Yeah, keep it pollarded. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Oh, it's it's hardwood cuttings. We've got a, hard hard cut yeah. we've got a fantastic example over at the pond where I work. And we've got four um, salix, mm. and the stumps are sort of, I suppose, to look at that table leg there, probably that height. And at the mm. top of them, they we, we cut them back mm. and literally you see them spike out like flames every year oh, wow. and it, it's just at the back of the pond so when you're looking across at the vista yeah. you've got flames behind the water it's just looks fantastic and, um, it's that time of year now where i'm looking at it and thinking i might have to uh, cut that back again soon but, uh, 
yeah, we'll try and get as much colour out of that as we can, and I'll get some photos for you. But, um, so yeah, there are there are varieties. It's a variety of vitellina. Uh, Britzensis is usually one of the more colourful ones. Yeah, this is yeah. more of a, just the original species. But it's lovely. Yeah. lovely. Well, there you go. Any more to add? No, it's all good. So uh, take that away. Uh, level twos and level threes, uh, whatever level you may be. Um, there's some more plant high dents for you. And thanks for watching Growing Knowledge. We'll be back soon.